Yeah, so I'm talking to Costas Christ, um, who is the um, one well, the main one well, the main mover, the chairman of the Tourism for Tomorrow Awards, and he's been doing that for six years. So, tell me, Costas, what's your view of the benefits to the industry for the Tourism for Tomorrow Awards? I think the Tourism for Tomorrow Awards have helped bring the issues of sustainability to a much broader level of the tourism industry. You know these issues around ecotourism and sustainability for a long time throughout the 90s for example were really focused on small mom and pop tour operators and that's great because that's where the inspiration and the movement was really born. The jungle lodges of Costa Rica, the savanna camps of Kenya and elsewhere. But what happened around the year 2000 in particular for me was the feeling that we could be 100 percent successful in our goals of ecotourism, responsible travel to natural areas that protects nature and sustains the well-being of local communities. But even if we were 100 percent, 20 years from now, I became convinced that we might change maybe 7 percent of the global tourism industry. So the Tourism for Tomorrow Awards are about bringing this idea, these principles that started with ecotourism, into the mainstream industry to people who weren't familiar with it and sometimes with businesses who weren't that interested in it. This is where we need to make sustainability work today and that's what the Tourism for Tomorrow Awards are trying to accomplish. So that's moving from niche to mainstream effectively. So you're saying that the, uh, that the big operators, the most important players, the people that move the most people should get involved in it as well. Yeah, what, what I'm saying is that we, you know, this industry called travel and tourism, which is massive, we know it, it's, it's got a huge size, uh, we have got to get it right. We know the potential for harm that it can do. But we also know, particularly with the emergence of ecotourism, the potential good and positive returns that can come from it. But we need to now bring that message and those practices and those principles throughout the entire industry and literally transform global travel and tourism from top to bottom. The Tourism for Tomorrow Awards are about bringing that message into that sector of the industry from top to bottom. And that, I presume that's a great benefit of being involved with the WTTC, the WTTC being the, uh, the CEOs of the 100 biggest travel companies in the world. I spent the better part of, of 15, nearly 20 years uh, drawing my inspiration from and working on the ground with those you know, tour operators, adventure travel companies and others that were really the pioneers of, of this model, this sense of tourism that can be something more than just an extractive industry, but tourism that can give back. Uh, but, like I said, to really achieve the goals that we need to achieve, to really transform this industry to its fullest potential, we need to get the players on board such as, for example, the members of the tourism, uh, the World Travel and Tourism Council, the 100 largest tourism countries and uh, companies in the world, and I'm I'm happy to say, frankly, that we've seen tremendous amount of accomplishment over the last six or seven years. When I first started in this role of the Tourism for Tomorrow Awards as a chairman in 2004, trust me, there were a lot of companies within the World Travel and Tourism Council that some of which weren't interested, some of which didn't understand the issues, and some of which were already engaged. Today, we've hit a tipping point where we are seeing sustainable practices across the board in ways that we haven't seen before. One of our finalists this year is Emirates Airlines, Emirates uh, Hotels and Resorts. 10, 12 years ago, we would have never thought along those lines that a company like Emirates could be doing this. Accor Hotels, 4,000 properties in 90 different countries, over 150,000 employees. I mean, they're another finalist. So again, we, the, the ecotourism created the foundation for what I believe is the sustainable transformation of the tourism industry today. And places like the World Travel and Tourism Council are now making that message happen at a much greater level. So what you're saying, in effect, is bringing um, sustainable tourism from the mom and pop businesses to the big corporations, number one, and number two, changing it from being an extractive industry, your words, uh, to putting something back into the communities. So you must feel very happy about doing this. 
I, to be honest with you, if uh, somebody told me five or six years ago, would I think sustainable tourism globally would have reached the level it has today in terms of its practices and its awareness almost throughout the entire industry, I would have said, uh, you know, I wish, but I, I just can't see that happening. But we're here. Does that mean the job's done? Not by any means. We have a long way to go, but I'm encouraged and I'm optimistic because what I'm seeing today is more than I ever would have imagined 10 years ago. That's what we need to build on. That's what we need to continue to strive to achieve. This is a struggle, but it's an important struggle. And frankly, personally, I believe that nothing less than the future of the planet is at stake.